Semi-Slav Defense, Main Line, Chigurin Defense, 7.e4dxe48.nxe4. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White was a cut above black in the middle game. Opening with the queen's pawn. The move d5 establishes control over the e4 square, frees up the light squared bishop, and builds a presence in the center. A wing pawn is available in the queen's gambit to attack the center and divert black's attention away from the e4 square. The d5 pawn is supported by c6 in the Slav defense. The battle for the e4 square is launched by nc3 by attacking the d5 position. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. This defends the attacked pawn. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. nf3 controls the e5 square, advances the knight toward the center, and helps the d4 pawn. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is a fair deal after all captures. Backs off. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. Recaptures. This blocks the check from an opposing bishop. This is the only good move. It is the last book move. This exchange is fair. It is quite good. Backs off. It is ideal. This hits in the middle and prevents the opponent from gaining ground. That's good. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. That's good. This gives away a free pawn. This permits the opponent to reveal an attack on a queen. It is a blunder. That pawn was free for the taking. It is best. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. That's good. That's fine. It is good. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is ideal. A very strong play. It is excellent. A solid choice. It is excellent. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. That's good. The knight can now control more squares as a result. It is quite good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This defends the attacked pawn. It is excellent. The knight is now located at an outpost, a safe area inside the enemy's territory. It is ideal. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. This places a rook on the seventh rank, activating it and putting the other side's king under pressure. It is quite good. A very strong play. It is excellent. A solid choice. It is excellent. Among the best actions. It is quite good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This buys time by putting a rook in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. The rook is now in a safe position. It is quite good. A very strong play. It is excellent. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This secures a pawn. It is quite good. This is an equal trade. It is excellent. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White was a cut above black in the middle game. 